somewhat local news, but it affects anyone that comes to Arapaho Basin. They yeah. had a mumps outbreak amongst their staff. Six people came down with it. So you can come to the basin for the bumps, but you're leaving with the mumps, which is one of the scariest things for me because I'm immune suppressed. Yeah. And uh, even though I've been vaccinated, uh, it's a 50-50 crapshoot on whether or not it still holds in there since I lost my spleen and everything. Because I got chicken pox a few years ago again. Yeah. And they were like, uh, and I was like, really? They are like, well, it's, yeah, it looks like it's chicken pox. And I was like. Oh, okay. Which one of my favorite things is, obviously, it's highly highly contagious in various ways. One of the specific ways they mentioned uh, in the article about how it gets around is with saliva and kissing. So, apparently, just everybody at A-Base is making out with everybody else. That's what I think. Yeah, well, they hired a bunch of J-1s, and I was like, so, my guess is, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, they probably weren't vaccinated. Yep. But I, I thought you couldn't come here and work unless you were vaccinated. Either that, that or my like other you. theory. My other theory is one of these dumb fuck uh, anti vaxxers, anti vaxxer fucking one percenters that believes that they're that uh, not vaccinating their kid will boost their immune system yeah. uh, or kill them. Uh, fucking came and got some people that probably was the J ones. All I know is the last two weeks the basin was open. I was like, do not touch anything of mine. I was like, they like tried to touch my passenger scan. I was like, no, no. Well, I'll give you the number. You can read this. I'll read this to you. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like, that's some scary shit, though, for real. Like, this is stuff that shouldn't even exist anymore in the first world. We eradicated like, it, and yeah. it's, it's back, and it's so because stupid. people. It's so stupid. It's all because of that stupid fuck, Dr. Andrew Wakefield. It's also, I did a little bit of research into it, and it's also because of the way it's approved and how there's, um, People can be harmed by vaccines, but it's like less than one percent of the population. Oh, it's and like I, it's, I think it's less than a tenth of a percent. Isn't it like yeah? It's, something it's like, a super it's small super number. Tiny it number. certainly exists. So, like, don't don't go thinking that we just hate literally anyone that's not vaccinated. We completely understand there are certain people out there that can't have it. Well, but I can't. I can't get any new. You can't vaccine. get it. Yeah, I have to be really ones. careful with new yeah. vaccines. Like I have to go through the pros and cons. But of if everything. you don't have any problems with them, just go get vaccinated. I don't care two shits about what you think. It's about what you're going to do to other people, and this is a perfect example of it. Well, that, that's the whole herd immunity. Like, yeah. and the thing is, like the byproduct of being an adult and getting mumps, uh, I could go blind. Yeah, and I was just like, oh. Fuck! I just paid for new eyes. Yeah, <laughs> like there went. I'd be like, there went four grand. Money. <laughs> there went four grand, and now I'm blind. Fuck! Uh, yeah, I, it, it was weird. But the good thing was, like, a basin was really proactive with it. They worked with the Summit County uh, Health Department. They got everything taken care of as best they could. But I mean, my guess is that it actually really was a bunch of J1s because there, there's a bunch working in the kitchen. Yeah. And it's because you're usually living in close quarters and stuff. Someone probably got a cold, coughed on someone. It's in the air. Because, I mean, that's the thing. is like it, it'll live on a surface for a while mm -hmm. afterwards and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Not, not, a, uh, not the best of things to find out about a resort, especially when you think about the skier visits are up super high this year for, yeah crazy like, set, yeah. set new records so and it was mm -hmm. the last year for basing on the epic pass so everyone and their brother was going so yep. so you know um by now if you haven't developed mumps and you were at the basin in the last month you're probably fine yeah you probably don't, don't I, I haven't gone blind yet so but that could also be from touching myself yes that's a thing that, that is a thing yeah. i saw a movie about that it's also why you can't eat sugary cereal yeah. It, it puts impure thoughts into your mind. Oh, fuck. I'm screwed. Yeah, so, sorry. Cool. Well, I guess that's that. On that's that kind one. of that one. Um, yeah. yeah really get much get, get vaccinated. About. Don't listen to Jamie Anderson. She's a fucking kook. And if you're headed to, this article specifically says this, and I think it's a great idea. So I'm going to relay it to you guys. If you're headed to college, you're headed to any, you know, thing like that, that kind of concept, new country, whatever, go get a booster. Because it does lose effectiveness over time and then if you're you know be careful if you have any sort of immune issues but yeah go get a booster that's a thing by the way so maybe go do that so you definitely don't get mumps
Either that or just don't make out with J1s or questionable yep. small children whose parents... Well, Generally speaking, don't make out with small children. Yeah, that's just not a... That's a that's a pretty safe rule. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. All right, next topic. 